Hey, what's up, folks? Blitzball Champ is back with some more Carolina Panthers talk here on the U to the 2. So, just wanted to make a short video. A um, couple of transactions happened uh, just recently. <clears throat> of course, uh, Rookie Minicamp has started out. Uh, for the rookies and uh, undrafted um, free agents for the Carolina Panthers, um, but there was some there were some more undrafted free agents that got signed. Or excuse me, not undrafted, but um, there were a few moves that were made, a few free agent signings. So the team has signed uh, another defensive end. And a safety. The defensive end that they signed was Kendall Donerson. And the safety that they signed was Delano Hill, also known as Lano Hill. <clears throat> so, a little bit of background on both these players. Delano Hill. Apparently, he was a former third-round pick um, who's played for the Seattle Seahawks. Um, he's played two games for the Seahawks last year before getting put on injured reserve with a back injury. But he's played 42 games in his NFL career. Um, but yeah, he was a third round pick in the 2017 draft. Um, went to Michigan, so he was a Wolverine. Um, 6'1", 216 pounds. Um, I mean, it's got 64 tackles, a forced fumble, and a pass deflection. Um, if anything, depth at safety. You know, I feel like safety is an area that we're kind of lacking a little bit. I mean, aside from Jeremy Chen, aside from um, Justin Burris. So, um, I mean, could never go wrong with depth. And, of course, this is somebody that at least has some NFL experience. I mean, he's played in 42 games, so he's got some experience. Um, but, yeah, he'll be there with, like, the Sean Chandler, uh, the Kenny Robinson, Sam Franklin. I mean, we still still got a little bit of depth there. But it'll be interesting to see what he adds to the competition at safety. But uh, he's got a little bit of experience, not a whole lot. And he's young. He's 25 years old. So, I mean, we'll see how he does. We'll see how he does. Apparently, he did enough to impress to get a contract signing. So, we'll see how he does. And then the other player, Kendall Donerson. Um... Defensive end, and I believe also plays some uh, some linebacker as well. Uh, went to Southeast Missouri State. <clears throat> he's played. Let's see. He's played with the. Um, he was a seventh round pick for the Packers, and he's also been in camp with the Raiders of the Bengals. Okay. He was a seventh round pick of the twenty eighteen draft. Um, Southeast Missouri State, um, 6'3", 249 pounds, uh, 25 years old, um, couldn't pull up any stats on him, um, I don't know if he's really done much, I think he's just been practice squad, but, apparently he's a linebacker, defensive end sort of combo, I'm guessing maybe edge rusher, I don't know that much about him. But, uh, but yeah, he got signed. And in order to make room to bring these two defensive players in, they've waived linebacker Daniel Bituli, defensive end P.J. Johnson, and kicker Matt Amendola. So they ended up waiving the, the kicker, Matt Amendola. So it looks like maybe, perhaps, um, the only other kicker that we have... Uh, 
I know we got somebody else besides Joey Sly. Uh, I'm looking it up. I know, I know we got another kicker. I just forgot what his name was. I could have sworn we got another kicker. He had a really complicated name. See if I can. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, there was another kicker that I thought we had that had a really complicated name. I just can't think of it. If y'all think of the name, do let me know. But I know we have another kicker. I just cannot think of his name. It was a really complicated name. But, uh. But yeah, so we've waived, uh, kicker Matt Amadola. But it looks like. We're probably going to end up sticking with Joey Sly. I mean, I know Joey Sly struggled last season, but I mean, he was really put in a in a pretty bad position where at least on two occasions, I believe, had to try to kick 60-yard field goals. And, you know, a kicker should never be put into that position. Now, I know some people were like, well, Greg Gano did it. Well, I mean, time was running out and... It was a last-ditch effort. And besides, if I remember correctly, uh, even if he missed it, we would have been in overtime anyway. So, I don't know. I just feel like Joey Sly was in a pretty rough position last season. And he struggled with 50-yarders. Uh, I think he only hit one 50-yarder, which was a 56-yarder, all last season. So, he, he struggled. But... You know, he's come in bed for his third season. It looks like he's going to get the nod again to be our place kicker. But we'll see what happens. Anything can change. Anything can happen between now and the start of the season. But, um, Kendall Dodderson does have a year on him. And... Lino Hill has a couple of years, like three years, on him. So, uh, or no, five years. Five years. But, um, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. And I'm just... It's more depth. To the roster, it's more depth. Uh, you know we're we're looking pretty stacked on the D line and safety. Like I said, safety I feel like we're kind of lacking a little bit, but this adds to that. So I'm sure between now and uh, the beginning of the season, there'll probably be some more additions. But then again, we're gonna have to you know cut the roster down to 53 players. So, we'll have to see who ends up breaking out. But, rookie minicamp has started. That's gotten underway. And, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to see how our talent does as we get closer and closer to the start of preseason. Should be fun. I'm excited. I hope you are, too. But, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the these signings of Delano Hill. Ed Kendall Donerson, safety and defensive end, I guess, slash linebacker. But let me know what y'all think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And thank you so much for watching. This is Blitzball Champ, Jason Ingram, signing off. Hope everybody has a blessed week. See y'all soon. Peace.